Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and today we're gonna talk about other stuff you can collect. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you don't already know, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, been with the franchise since the very beginning. I'm old and <laughs> I love uh, collecting tons of stuff. So I got a lot of vintage stuff, stuff from my childhood. I collect current things. I'm building costumes. I've built models. I've done book reviews, game reviews. If it's Star Wars, I'm going to talk about it. Okay. But perhaps you're like me and you've got a nice little collection going and you've wondered, you know, I'm not really collecting anything right now. I do kind of like the vintage stuff, but a lot of that stuff's pretty expensive. Is there anything else I can collect? There is. There is other stuff you can collect and it's not that expensive. So let me give you some ideas. The first thing I'm gonna suggest is vintage VHS cassettes. I think these are super fun to collect and a lot of people don't think about collecting them because they would say, well, I don't have a VHS player or I don't have any way to play them. We think of this as media, but it doesn't have to be media. It can be a collectible. Think about it this way. Somebody a long time ago who was a fan of The Empire Strikes Back had this in their house. Their family watched it. Their family enjoyed it, got hours and hours of entertainment from it. And now it's being preserved in your Star Wars museum. And as you can see, I have all three films and I wasn't going for perfect. I wasn't going for, you know, you know, immaculate or mint condition. I was just going for just having the actual cassettes, having the sleeves and being able to display something on my shelf. And that means because I'm such a fan of Lucas, uh, I also have the three Raiders films as well. So I have a Raiders of the Lost Ark, Temple of Doom, right? <laughs> and again, I don't have a VHS player, right? I don't have any way to play these, but they sit on my shelf and uh, they, I think they just look good from the side. I mean, people might not even know they're VHS. They might even just think that there's some sort of collector book. Which brings me to vintage books. Books are another inexpensive thing that you can purchase, that you can have on your shelf. Um, I did have this when I was a kid. This was the combined trilogies. So you could have all three books, look at that, for 15 bucks but now only six bucks. So you have all three films for $6. Of course, when they came out originally, uh, one at a time, they came out as individual books. And so this is the first, the, the George Lucas Star Wars, uh, the gold cover. I think there's, there's a several different covers, but this is the Ballantine book that was $1.95. And then Empire Strikes Back by Donald F. Glutt. So, and you can, you can see all the, the books are pretty thin. They, this is back when they really didn't edit much. They just kind of took the script and they had looked at some pictures before the film came out and they quickly wrote a book. To, and then lastly, Return of the Jedi by James Caan. And uh, again, not a very thick book, right? Not a very thick book, which means you could read these. You could read these and uh, enjoy what many others enjoyed way back when. Now, if I were gonna recommend some other vintage books, uh, these were my favorites when I was a kid. Uh, the Han Solo trilogy, Han Solo's Revenge, Han Solo at Star's End, and Han Solo at the Lost Legacy. They were some of my very favorite all-time vintage books. And of course, the greatest non-canon book ever, Splinter of the Mind's Eye. This came out uh, as a book that would hopefully take place between the films as an alternate story, and you get to see some of the footage uh, that we saw in the films of Luke and Leia training together. Uh, this is a fantastic book. Which means, yes, of course, I have the Raiders books as well. So Raiders of the Lost Ark, Temple of Doom, and Last Crusade. And again, these vintage books, you can find them on eBay. The vintage VHS cassettes, you can find them on eBay. They are not that much money, and it's a great way to increase your collection. So perhaps uh, this wasn't new to you, and you're already collecting the books or collecting the VHS cassettes. If that's you, uh, let me know down below. Also, you'll probably notice over here, I've got a huge collection 
of the past Star Wars books. So really, once you collect the, you know, the first three, there's a whole bunch of other books that you can collect, especially uh, from this, uh, these series. I mean, there's, there's tons, tons of books out there, and you can find them all on eBay. They're usually not that expensive, you know, and there's online lists out there that tell you uh, which books came out when and in which order they go in. So if you wanted to relive your childhood or pretend to go back and relive a childhood that maybe you didn't even have, uh, getting a lot of those books is pretty fun. So, hey, let me know down below what ideas and what strange uh, objects you collect, and may the force be with you. I'll see you next time. Bye.